a quick video just for today. Uh, just paint a whole bunch of heads, but I'm going to show wood duck. So this is it's all dremeled out. Um, it's going to be for a standing bird, so it has a notch for the neck to fit in. So basically, I have colors out. So some of them I'll do by hand. Um, you know, I have a little bit of jet black, uh, bright yellow or wood duck yellow, a little bit of lacquer thinner, and then uh, for red, just use gill red, uh, like a nice dark one. So there was a guy that first showed me to you know use your thumb as kind of like a border for the lines, but then you just end up with red thumbs and you really don't need to do that. So I just kind of go through real simple. Make a nice, uh, make it nice and even is the biggest thing. The press are going. So then after we have it like that, so obviously I have stuff to clean. So then I just get some lacquer thinner. Make a nice, nice straight line. Clean around the edges that are going to be yellow in a minute. It's just like it's a lot easier than, I don't know. This is just the way that I've kind of come up with it. I like the best, especially especially when you're painting a bunch of them. It kind of behooves you to find the most efficient ways of doing it. So I'll clean this up and be right back and then we'll do the yellow and then finish with the black. Alright, so now we got that red, so now we'll do the yellow just around you kind of have to clean the areas up that you're going to be painting another color, or at least try to. It's a bigger brush, actually. So then, so just give them a nice yellow. And I kind of set the paints out. Like, I do it with turkeys and um, a few birds that I'll set it out, let it kind of they're lacquer based paint so they dry but what that does is once they dry they're a little bit um, thicker so when you do apply it with a brush I don't, I don't do a whole lot with a brush mainly it's you know mainly it's just wood ducks and I guess some with turkeys but if it's real thin then you have to it's just layers and it, I don't know it just doesn't look very good but so we got the yellow and then now, let's clean this off a little bit. So then the only thing left now is just the black on the, I'll do the bottom with the airbrush. Uh, there's not much point of doing that. Just trying to show, but I'll kind of go in. There's, there's a little ridge in here. It's probably not showing up on the camera, but you know, you almost want a, um, it's like a round heart shape on the top of the bill so it really needs to kind of come to a, like a heart and then the base it's kind of round and, and thick at the thicker at the bottom like a spade I guess and like I said once I'm I don't have the the tip of the bill because I'll probably do that. Well, I guess I could go ahead and do it with. So you just have to kind of go in and look and see what um, how the that heart is looking, how it's lining up, and see. But once the black is on here. See a little bit more, so it's just it's just kind of like a little. And most most birds really aren't 
this much trouble too. The wood duck is kind of, he's real tough all the way around from grooming his feathers to, to just really everything. So normally this area I'll go back over with the airbrush just to kind of knock some of that brightness off. But I wanted to go ahead and put some paint on just to, so that way it's pretty much the finished product minus uh, a little airbrush mist I'll do for the bottom obviously but so that's pretty much it so that's a wood duck so you can go darker with the red and go pink I mean I've seen it I try to tell people all the time it's mainly just what's a happy medium you know like this one I did a little bit more red um, but again it's just happy medium what's one guy's gonna want it pinker some guy's gonna want it red unless they specify I just go kinda right down the middle so, but that's basically it.